If we look at America today, there's about 120,000 patients who are waiting for an organ. So our solution to that is to bioengineer an organ. A bioengineered organ, at least in this context, is a scaffold. If you think about it, it is like the steel of a building. To the average person, this may sound like science fiction, but I can tell you that even to the average transplant surgeon, or maybe not so average transplant surgeon, it still sounds a little bit like science fiction. But uh, this is an incredible time where it's a new era. We have gene editing, we have cloning, we have all kinds of things. Bioengineered kidneys might be a reality. I mean, we're really at the precipice where we could actually envision this could work. So our process, what we're able to do on the bioengineering side is we actually start with a pig organ, but not in the traditional sense that we're gonna take that pig organ and directly transplant it into a human. We bring in that, whether it's a pig kidney or a pig liver. It's a process we call decellarization. It leaves the structure of the organ. You can essentially watch the cells being washed out of the matrix itself. Because we remove all the cells from that pig organ, the body, our bodies don't see it as a pig organ anymore. So that allows us to receive that organ that wasn't placed for transplant, bring it into our facility, isolate out those primary cells or human cells. Essentially, we're able to take those organs for whatever reason, whatever it meant why they weren't able to be placed into uh, a patient. We're able to utilize those organs, now isolate out those individual liver cells or individual kidney cells. So at that point, we then take those human cells that we've isolated from organs that weren't placed for transplant, we infuse those into the organ itself, allow those to engraft, and then bring back the functionality of the organ. And essentially regrow the organ, but now instead of having a pig organ, now it's a human organ.